Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to talk about probably the, one of the most important fluids in your body. It's probably one of the most misunderstood and forgotten fluids. And you really need to understand it because it's very, very vital. It's called bile. Uh, bile is made by the liver cells, okay? And it's concentrated in the gallbladder. So it sits and it stores there and it concentrates, okay? So every time you eat, especially certain foods like fats, it contracts and it squeezes out into the small intestine and it actually breaks down large particles of fat into small particles of fat. So now the pancreas can release its enzymes, specifically the one that dissolves fat called lipase, and it acts on that fat even further to break it down into small particles. So then you can start utilizing these fats to replace body tissues, nerve system, the brain, cell, skin, things like that. Okay, so that's what bile does. If you don't have a gallbladder, then you don't have um, typically the amount of bile that you need, so you're gonna have to substitute it somehow. Now, there are certain situations when they take out the gallbladder, um, they don't know why this is, but basically there's a constant draining now from the liver through the duct into your small intestine so that you might have too much bile. And one of the side effects of too much bile is diarrhea, okay? because bile is a lubricant. And if you have that, then um, they don't know how to fix it. Okay, so they have drugs that are anti-bile you have to take, or they have, you, have, you might have anal leakage, all sorts of issues. So anyway, the point is that's probably rare. Most people don't have enough bile, or the bile gets stuck in the gallbladder and it sits there and it doesn't release uh, that well. They might have stones and things like that, which is caused by not enough bile, because bile helps keep the stones zero, so there's no stones. So when you don't have bile, then you get this concentrated cholesterol stones, all right? So that's some basics on the bile. Uh, but here's, the, here's kind of the typical symptoms of bile would be uh, bloating, uh, nauseous, um, bloating on the right side, right shoulder pain, neck stuff through headaches. It can even cause the whole right arm to have a problem, okay? But um, when you don't eat, that's when the bile is concentrated Okay, so you can, so you can basically ready to release it so you can start digesting. If you have enough bile, you're very satisfied after you eat because you can actually start digesting the fats and it goes right to the brain. Um, the other purpose of bile is it helps to detoxify the liver. A lot of the toxins that come through the liver um, come out through the bile ducts. So without a bile uh, duct or um, without the proper flow of uh, bile through the bile ducts, um, your toxins are going to back up in the liver. Okay, so you might get uh, yellow of the whites of the eye, even the skin might get too yellow, you might feel toxic. So we need that gallbladder in that bile to help toxins go through the body. Okay, so also bile acts as a lubricant. People that are constipated are usually deficient in bile. So they need that to lubricate the colon, which is interesting. Um, they're doing more fiber or laxatives, but they're not adding the bile. Bile also is the thing that keeps the cholesterol flowing through the liver. Without bile, the cholesterol will back up and you could have high cholesterol in the blood, okay? Um, bile is the detergent. It's like, it's very similar to um, a di like dishwashing detergent because it breaks down the grease, the oil, the fats, primarily for the fat-soluble vitamins. So we have vitamin A, so you can absorb vitamin A for the eyes, seeing it in the dark at night, for your skin to prevent acne, to prevent sinus congestion. Uh, vitamin D for absorption for your bones, make sure there's no calcium deposits for the immune system. It goes on and on and on. So uh, vitamin K2, absorbing your vitamin K2 to keep your bones and the soft tissue calcium from forming into the different body organs, uh, preventing like even high blood pressure. Um, also vitamin E. Um, that's another fat-soluble vitamin. So you need for the skin, for the heart. So you can't pull in these fat-soluble vitamins if you don't have bile. So that's one thing. And 95% of the bile is recycled, which means that if your colon is damaged, let's say a leaky gut, or maybe you have um, some type of past uh, history of a lot of antibiotics, or you have some type of gastric bypass or colon damage, the problem is uh, you're not going to have a you're going to have a problem with recycling bile, so you're not going to have enough 
Or if you have a history of vomiting or diarrhea, you might lose the bile so you don't have enough. Even though it's recycled, you just don't have enough. Okay, so yeah, it takes a good digestive system to recycle that bile. All right, and it takes good microbes. Uh, next one is the effect on the thyroid gland. This is interesting. A lot of people don't know that you can have a thyroid problem with, with a bile problem, with a bile deficiency, or even like a gallbladder problem if it's congested, uh, or even a fatty liver that you can't make bile. So that's another thing that's very important. But see, bile is involved in the conversion of the thyroid from T4 to T3, the active form. So without bile, you can't convert the hormones. So even though you're taking the medication or you have thyroid hormones, they're not being converted. They're not being activated. So you have symptoms of thyroid, slow thyroid, but things might even show normal on your test. So the conversion is very, very important. And that's why if you have a hyperthyroid, too much thyroid hormone, then you don't want to be taking any bile supplements. Why? Because that's going to cause you to convert more and raise the thyroid hormones. So um, the point is that there's a huge connection to the endocrine system and bile. Uh, and there's a lot more things about bile, but I'm just covering the top things. So if you're diagnosed with a thyroid problem, it could be the gallbladder as the primary. And so here you take the thyroid medication, but it's not going to work because you can't convert it. Make sense? Okay. So those are some tips on the bile, and I, I'm, I hope I enlightened you on what bile does. And um, one of the products I have is called gallbladder formula that will help you support a healthy gallbladder, and it actually has bile salts in it. It has a lot of other things too. It has pancreatic enzymes. It has betaine hydrochloride for the stomach. So it's a really uh, effective supplement that you would take one after each meal, and uh, it would help you with some of the, support some of these symptoms. All right. So if you want to, if you want to check that out, I left a link below. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.